This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from opentuition.com. Uh, all right, this chapter, or this lecture, is based on the chapter on the regulatory framework. Uh, well, I'll keep, I uh, hopefully, I'll keep this pretty brief because um, a, there are no calculations involved, and b, uh, what you need really for the exam, I've typed up and. Um, I think it should be reasonably clear anyway. What it relates to is that ideally all accountants, when they're preparing financial statements, would follow the same sorts of rules. You know, we have a rule, if you remember, that we value inventory at the lower of cost and net realizable value. Well, ideally, obviously, we want all accounts to follow the same rules. Um, not just within one country, but ideally worldwide. And so, although uh, America isn't part of this, but they are very similar, they developed what we call international financial reporting standards. Now, every country has its own laws related to preparing financial statements. And uh, the law of the particular country overrides everything. Uh, financial reporting standards don't have the force of law, but unless the law in the country says to do different, accountants must follow the standards. And in fact, most countries, uh, their laws, if necessary, have been changed, but the laws fit in with international standards. Now, they used to be called international accounting standards, now they're called international financial reporting standards. Old ones are still referred to as IAS, as they've issued new ones, IFRS. And we've even mentioned them as we go through. I mean, there are lots and lots of these standards or rules. In the lectures, I've been through the ones that are relevant for this exam. Things like the way we value inventory, things like the rules on depreciation, and so on. Um, the other bits, though, really are just terms. These standards, there's the International Financial Reporting Standards Foundation. They are supervising the whole thing, and the objective is to produce these worldwide standards. Um, the standards are actually produced by the International Accounting Standards Board, the representatives on it from um, all the different accountancy qualifications and so on. They actually produce the rules. Now, the Advisory Council, they advise the International Accounting Standards Board. Um, they talk to all sorts of interested parties, different businesses and so on. Um, and collect people's views and advise the board to actually issue the standards. Uh, when standards are issued, uh, when a new standard is issued saying here's a new rule about how to do things, um, obviously accountants have questions. How exactly do we apply it? What do we do about this? What do we do about that? Well, they've got the International Financial Reporting Interpretations Committee. Um, they prepare uh, documents explaining, giving examples of how we apply the standard in different situations. Exposure drafts, well, when there's a new standard, before it becomes final, they draft the standard they sh uh, show it to interested parties. Well, anybody can have a look at this standard and make comments and say whether they think it's good or whether it's bad or whether it's impossible to apply and so on. Now, that's called an exposure draft. And they give um, a period of time where interested people can comment on the standard and then Depending on the comments, they might make amendments to it and then they issue it as a final standard. So the first issue is just this draft, the exposure draft. It's not become a rule yet. When they've had the comments, 
as I say, they may make some amendments, but then they issue the proper standard and then it becomes a rule. Uh, finally, you will see mention of something else that the International Academy Standards Board produced, which wasn't actually a standard, but this framework in preparation and presentation. Well, you'll remember an earlier chapter where I read through accounting concepts. They were all listed in this framework that was issued by the Accounting Standards Board. So not a lot there, and you're not likely to be asked much, if anything, on it. But do be aware of those different bodies um, and how accounting standards are produced. <coughs>